。好，第九、第十條做實驗啊，三支 test tube PQR 就幫我哋咧研究一下澱粉酶嘅作用。而家啦，三個實驗咧，咁我哋都有唔同結果嘅。咁我哋比較唔同實驗嘅結果咧，從而就得出一個結論係有關於澱粉酶對於澱粉嘅作用。咁既然啦，我哋今次呢又要去得出結論啦，咁又要比較下唔同類型嘅裝置啦，實驗裝置同埋對照裝置呢、這個定義呢都講咗一千次㗎啦。對照實驗呢，就係、是、同我哋嘅裝置實驗呢，就係、是、一模一樣，除咗我哋某一個特定研究緊嘅 factor 唔見咗。今次我哋研究嘅係咩 factor 呢？就係、是、澱粉酶嘅作用啊！嗱，唔係我講啊，題目講㗎。咁所以啦，喺我哋嘅對照實驗呢，係唔應該有澱粉酶嘅存在，亦即係個 I V 呢係 absent。既然係咁嘅話呢，睇下 P Q R 啦，邊個係冇澱粉酶？答案就係 Q。所以 Q 呢，就係、是、我哋嘅對照實驗嚟嘅。咁既然揾到對照實驗啦，我哋就要揾埋我哋嘅實驗裝置咯。喎。咁當然啦，自不然應該係有澱粉酶嗰兩個啦，係咪？咁佢死啦！究竟係 P 定 R 呢？答案呢係 P， 因为点解呢 p 之所以係我哋嘅实验装置，因为啦，佢哋两个都係有淀粉，不过一个有淀粉酶，一个就冇淀粉酶咁解啫。而如果我哋将 R 要去比嘅话呢，大家都有 a m y l a s e 㗎，不过 R 呢就係冇咗个淀粉咯。而家我哋想测试嘅乜嘢啊？系淀粉酶嘅作用啊嘛，唔係淀粉嘅重要性啊嘛。咁所以答案呢，就係 A P and Q 啦。而呢條題目呢，都講下有咩變奏啦。第一款呢 m C 變長題，問晒你 I V D V C V 係可以嘅。另一款變奏啦 ，P 同 Q 有比較，俾埋實驗結果你，問你得出咩嘅結論。其實點解 P 同 Q 係可以做到比較呢？或者點解嗰個對照實驗係咁重要呢？因為有人會挑戰你實驗 P 嘅結果嘅。诶、哎，你之所以整到麻糖啊，根本都唔关啲霉事，係啲淀粉質呢，自己会拆解自己嘅，关咩事啫 ？OK， 咁我就俾一支实验 Q 你囉。嗱，大家都有淀粉質啦，係咪啊？但係一个有淀粉酶，一个加蒸馏水、啊，喎。咁会发现啦，有淀粉酶就有反应，冇淀粉酶就冇反应，咁即係淀粉酶对于拆解淀粉就好重要啦嘛。咁咪可以拆解人哋嘅挑戰啦，係咪？另一款啦，就係問 P 同 R 又有個比較，跟住又要你得出一個結論啦。而家就講解下點解 Tube R 呢唔能夠作為今次題目嘅答案啦。咁啊，因為 Tube R 呢，佢之所以出現呢，係嚟自於另一個挑戰。今次嘅挑戰就係話啦 ，Tube P 你巴閉啦，整到麥芽糖啊，幾犀利！咁咪因為啲澱粉酶能夠無中生有啫嘛，自己無啦啦整到啲麥芽糖出嚟囉，佢巴閉囉，唔得咩 ？OK， 唔係唔得，我咪畀個 R 你囉。一個就有澱粉，一個就冇澱粉 ，R 咪冇澱粉囉。對照實驗啦，得啲澱粉酶嘅啫，嗱冇澱粉嘅，又話無中生有，有咗喺邊呀？有冇呀？見唔到，喎，唔好意思。喎。咁即係話，原來製造麥芽糖呢係好需要澱粉嘅存在，從而我哋得出嘅結論呢，就係澱粉係作為澱粉酶嘅受質，就俾澱粉酶去消化啦。咁你記住兩 Sir 教你嘅就係對照實驗呢，係攞嚟拆解人哋對你個實驗嘅挑戰。如果你個實驗呢係需要對照，而你冇對照嘅話呢。你就一定俾人插到體無完膚啦。I and Ten refer to the experiment. There are three setup in the study of the activity of amylase to P, Q, and R. So we can conclude the action of the amylase on starch by comparing the result of to P, Q, R, which of them. So in order to draw a valid conclusion in this experiment, we need the experimental setup and the control setup. And for the definition, I explained it for many, many times. The control setup is identical to the experimental setup, except that the factor under investigation is absent. So, what is the factor under investigation in this setup? We are studying the activity of amylase. So, in the control setup, it should not contain the amylase, right? So that's the I V is absent. Which one of them doesn't contain the amylase? And the answer will be Q. So that means setup Q will be the control setup. But within P and R, which one should be the experimental setup? So with the amylase, with the amylase, hmm, it seems okay. 
However, we need to keep it a fair comparison. So for tube P and Q, both of them contain the starch, but one with amylase, one without the amylase. So it is a fair comparison. And then P will be the experimental setup. But what about tube R? Could it be the experimental setup with tube Q? It doesn't. Both of them contain distilled water, okay? But one of them contains starch. One of them contains amylase. That's not fair. So that's why we cannot compare Q and R. So that's why the answer will be A, tube P and tube Q. So any possible question variation? First of all, MC to become the structural question. I ask you the IVC, VDV. And for the second variation, will be I give you the comparison already. I want you to compare to P and Q. And then I also give you the result. And then I ask you to draw the conclusion. So actually, what is the importance of the control setup? It's because we need to defend our experiment. Some people may challenge you. Oh, in tube P, why there is a production of metals? Uh, I know la. because the starch, it can be broken down themselves into the metals. It's nothing due to the amylase. So, okay, I give you the tube Q. Both of them contain the starch, but tube Q doesn't contain amylase. So, let's see if the starch really broken down themselves. So, we can see that. The production of the maltose should be due to the presence of amylase. With the amylase, there will be maltose produced. Without the amylase, there will no be maltose produced. So that's why we can conclude that amylase is necessary for the starch digestion, right? And for the next variation, P and R compare. And then I ask you the conclusion. Some people, they may challenge another thing. Why tip P there is a production of maltose? I know why la. Because the amylase, it can produce the maltose from nothing. This enzyme is just so amazing. So they can do this. Okay, so let's check tube out. I give you the amylase, right? Both of them, they contain amylase, but tube out, it doesn't contain the starch. So you say that amylase can produce the maltose, right? by themselves, right? So let's see, are there are any maltose produced? There is no maltose produced. So for tube P, with starch experimental setup. For tube R, without the starch, which is the control setup. So we can see that the starch is the substrate of the amylase for the digestion.